been a fashion designer for a long time and started coincidentally 10, 15 years back with my first go out home working on home away from home, holiday homes really. And Bindu had a wonderful furniture store and we've collaborated to a lot more work in Goa and we're doing some other commissions as well, which has resulted in Ahilia Homes. Hi, my name is Bindu Badera and I head the interior department at Ahilia Homes. And our design philosophy is India Modern, where we take from architecture of the past and we add a modern twist to it. I think our forte lies in the layering that we do in our homes and we try to use as many Indian materials as we can. Bindu and I came together on this because we both have a similar sensibility, I think. We like natural, organic, very luxurious, big volume of space, beautiful gardens, we like a tropical India modern vibe. It's something that I've always done in the fashion and especially with the ready to wear and even now with the couture and bridal. We're looking at, we're referencing India. So similarly we bring these ideas to the architectural division and to the interiors. We combine Indian workmanship with hopefully some measure of Western comfort in terms of the sofas or even if we're doing in situ. A lot of people think that being creative is just putting pretty things together. I mean, I see it in fashion all the time. You'll see a bride walk in a langa and she can't walk because it's 25 kilos and she can't dance and then something tears, you know, she's bruised. To me, that's not creative. That's superficially creative. I think really being creative is to get into the core of something. So our homes are an extension of our beliefs. Their simplicity in our designs, but an extravaganza in our layering. Security is paramount to us and you can find our homes fitted with extensive security systems to keep you and your loved ones safe. Normally at the end, Bindu more than me will spend really time living in the house and I come. And that's always made the best houses when you actually live in it for a while. Because then you know what it feels like, how it feels at night, how, you know, I mean, you can't physically move walls and doors then. But that's when the layering of the process starts. And uh, of course the best house is always where you've had a couple of months to do that.